how do you prove the kalam nafsi uh, or kalam lafzi and kalam nafsi in the quran well the reason of of it is this allah ta'ala has attributed the quran his speech to himself yet he is telling us that another aspect of the quran is muhdath it comes into being and maj'ul it's made so that points us to al kalam al lafzi kalam al nafsi is the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is within himself that has no sound no letter no beginning no end nothing of creation okay but then when that word gets placed into a word that we can recite then that's what's called al kalam al lafzi and the word quran can point to both can mean both that's why you can't say quran is created so what's the proof of this in the quran hamim surah al zukhruf wal kitab al mubin inna ja'alnahu quranan arabiyan la'allakum taqilun verily we have made it meaning allah's speech we have made it something pre-eternal doesn't get made la yakunu maj'ula what i'm saying to you here is for, directly from the quran and it's confirmed by the scholars la yakunu al-qadimu maj'ulan that which is pre-eternal and infinite in the past can never be made so allah ta'ala's kalam nafsi ja'alahu he made it into a recited word in the arabic language so that shows the difference made what jalna hu we have made it meaning his kalam nafsi into an arabic recited book a book that you can recite in arabic and allah says ma ya'tihim min dhikrin surah al-anbiya ma ya'tihim min dhikrin min rabbihim muhdathin illa istama'uhu wa yalabun they never get meaning the disbelievers never get a revelation that has come to them fresh or that has that has been muhdath created for them muhdath came into being a revelation that came into being so could it mean it came into being in their mind because they didn't know it existed then it existed yes it could mean that but it definitely could also mean the revelation itself came into being into this world meaning the eternal speech of allah was placed ju'ila as the lafz al-quran ju'ila ja'alnahu وأحدث, and was put into for the first time made for the first time into a book that can be recited hence the definition of the quran is that it can point to the word quran can point to allah's eternal speech within himself that is qadim that has no beginning no end no letters no uh beginning no end no language and it points to al kalam al lafzi which is that speech placed into a word that we can recite in a language that is a created language with a beginning and an end that we humans can recite that's the step for the question for neil in three how do you pl- prove the kalam nafsi and kalam lafzi from the quran and uh to say that al- the quran is allah's eternal speech that is qadim doesn't need proof uh in the gatherings of ahl sunnah it needed proof to the mu'tazila um and Allah and the proof of that is hatta yasma'u kalam Allah until they hear the word of Allah so Allah attributed the speech to himself yeah yes maj'ul ju'ila wa uhdatha by the language of the Quran ju'ila wa uhdatha inna ja'alnahu qur'anan arabiyan wa ma yati min dhikr min rabbihim muhdath so it has been placed and made into a word that we can recite yes something that is infinite place into something finite that has a beginning and an end and is in an, in a uh, language that is uh, uh, a created language right so that aspect of it is maj'ul and muhdath we're only going to use the words that the quran uses inna ja'alnahu ma'ti min dhikr min rabbih muhdath so let's just we and that's it we stop right there right this is again one of those 2% questions we we have an answer to it we're not going to enter into a brawl over it and if they want to make a clip and say mubtada innovator blah 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 all right i mean this is i'm just repeating to you what i would say probably 
75 to 80 percent of our scholars after this debate came about settled upon what i just said because by the way the early salaf of the scholars the question may have just started to come about and the final say and the final correct answer had not yet been decided yet so early on debate when a debate comes out the initial reaction is not what you judge on you judge on later afterwards when the thing's been settled and gone over so many times and we've settled upon it and all the answers have been and the terminology has been d defined that's what is more clear